I think we're ready? I, I always believe so. Uh, it's always kind of hard to tell with the with delays, but hopefully it's all good. Yep, there we are. I uh, hope you're all having a good day today. Hi everyone, I'm uh, McDysis, and we're going to be doing the game Night Trap, which is a very interesting FMV game that I'll explain more about. And I forgot to mute my notifications, so let me do that before I begin. Uh, really quick, uh, before we begin, uh, you mentioned you wanted to beat something? Yeah, exactly. I have uh, a donation here. So we have 10 dollars from I am Greaser saying, If you haven't seen Night Trap, don't worry, Egg hasn't either. That's gonna be a good one. So I, I I already know the answer, but I'm just gonna ask: Did we meet blindfold? Uh, I think that has been met like quite a long time ago. Uh, okay, I figured out ask. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is indeed met. All right. Well, since all you find people donated for a blindfold and night trap run, I have my blindfold right here. Uh, I have a couple of blindfolds, but this is my lucky one. I've been using for every attempt I've done of this. Um, I'm going to put it on and show you, show you, but first things first, it's just a normal blindfold sock thing. Nothing on this side, nothing <laughs> on this side. It's just a normal blindfold. You can look, just to make sure. I'm going to put it on during the intro cutscene, and we can actually start time when it hits start game. So, three, two, one, go. So really quick before we begin, uh, the reason why I like doing PS4 is because this little light exists, and I'll lift it up during certain parts of the run so you can see it, but there's going to be color changes, and this light will actually reflect it. I'll try to also keep it above my, like, kind of higher up so you can kind of see the whole thing because it's cooler. Anyway, uh, hopefully it doesn't freeze, by the way, because sometimes it does that. <laughs> if it does, I'll have to, like, all right, we're good. There's also an audio glitch that can happen where everyone sounds really deep because this game is a buggy mess. Um... Let me just make sure it works before I do anything. But this will kind of give the premise of the game, and it kind of factors in. I put this into the time estimate. It should be all good. So it's an 80s movie, but a 90s game. And it kind of plays like Five Nights at Freddy's, where you have the cameras and all that. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm just going to wait for the audio cue. We're good. That sounds right. All right. Time to get blindfolded. Okay, right now I cannot see a single thing. As well, I have my eyes closed. However, you're gonna have to take my word for that one. This game is mostly audio cues, but you'll get the introduction to the premise, the game, and what's going on. see a thing. We do. You do. We do. I'm not exactly certain. Special operators from control. But we gotta work together on this one. Any questions? It's rock and roll. You can really admire the 80s acting here. Be careful out there, huh? You. You keep your eyes open. We're all depending on you, especially Kelly. She should be there now. I'll switch you over. All right. That's the intro. We're about to get ready. We're going to get switched in. And now you can see there are eight kind of rooms. Um, so these rooms are all going to have a set order. And I'm going to have to go through between these rooms to capture these things called the augers. Uh, the augers are these vampires who are walking kind of like they poop their pants. Um, 
they're all going to have set times they enter rooms, and they're also going to have set times they can trap them. Uh, the game is called Night Trap because they're trapping things at nighttime. Kind of a funny title, I suppose. Uh, I'm using audio cues based on music and a variety of other things to know when I'm getting the traps. Uh, I also know the order of all the traps and the rooms I'll be going to. For like instance, right now, I'm in the bedroom and we're going over to the bathroom. The early game is not too tough. Uh, most of the challenges are just kind of knowing what rooms you got to be in. Like for this one, I'm in the bathroom. Wait, there's two captures. So it's important to stay there. That beeping you're hearing is me mashing the trap button because it's going to be way safer to mash it when you hear the music because then you can kind of get the right area, making it pretty safe as a blindfolded run. Um, as well, sometimes you'll have a bit of a wait before a capture comes. And it's also weird because while you're in the cameras, stories will be happening uh, that you may not be able to watch as a result. Um, but I'll try to play some of those because they're quite funny and they actually give me good audio cues and what I'm supposed to be in certain rooms. Like right now, we should be in the kitchen. And you'll kind of tell the music swaps. And then we're about to end the first two minutes or so with one more capture in the entryway, and then we get a small break. We're also going to get a little cutscene that I like. There we go. Alright, so we got the capture. Uh, really quick, if you want to read one donation or one thing you would like to plug, feel free to go for it. All right, so we have a $25 anonymous donation, which uh, goes towards uh, the kill or save. $10 of those goes towards saving in uh, your incentive here. All right. So that's pretty nice. If you could, like, talk about that, by the way, that would be nice. Right after the scutting, because it's pretty funny. I like the way he describes the augers. I just, I just enjoy him talking. But yeah, for so for this run, uh, the main character is named Kelly, who's played by actress Dana Plato. At the end of the game, we're going to have the choice whether we can save her or kill her. Um, the kill is a joke ending that you can get that you're not supposed to get, while saving is the normal ending. So that bid war will be going on until the end of the run. So if you want to either see her die or live, feel free to donate until the end of the run. As well, during this time... It's close, by the way. It's close? It's only five dollars apart, granted. All right, we have a close one. You could have waited in the entryway room the entire time that I'm currently in. However, I like being able to play things. It's not very exciting to just wait in one empty room the entire time. As well, the story dialogues are gonna let me know I'm in the right room. Like right now, them talking about closing the door, I know an auger is gonna be walking into the room right afterward. To describe what augers are, I think I did it earlier, but just to reiterate, they're a bunch of toothless vampires who use vacuum cleaner guns. As well, if you're wondering how I'm able to know where I'm going, um, the eight panel layout on the bottom, um, the order is hallway one, hold on, hallway one, kitchen, entryway, living room, bathroom, bedroom, uh, hallway two, and then the driveway. I use letters for these, so you might hear me say letters later on the run, but for right now it's pretty chill in the order. And as well, a lot of these get pretty tight where they're only within seconds of each other to make sure you have the right one. I got that one, right? I think I heard the trampoline. Also, I'll say numbers on what I should be at so you can kind of be aware if I'm on the perfect one. Um, really quick, some of you guys may be confused because the possible and capture numbers may not be lining up. However, that's just kind of the nature of the port. They kind of time the differences on when a possible capture is ready to begin. Um, I, though... I'm going to get cocky for a second. Uh, the next five captures are going to be bathroom, bathroom, living room, living room, uh, bedroom, driveway, and then uh, entryway. For the next rooms. Alright, there's the two in the bathroom. Here's the living room. Uh, the living room actually has a really long, awkward wait. And I never know why it's so long. Um, Usually I'll try to do other things if stuff is going on, but it really depends. Also, just kind of show, you may be wondering about this color. Um, during the run, we'll get color changes to make the traps work. And in order to get the traps consistently working, you're going to have to be on the appropriate color, which you have to listen for. It's RNG, by the way, and the order is always going to be the same. Uh, in terms of rotation, it's blue, green, orange, purple, red, yellow, blue. However, the color we get could be entirely randomized. They actually overdubbed new dialogue to randomize the colors, funny enough. 
However, it can also play in our favor and just give us the exact same color. So you go like, I don't like blue. Turn it on to blue. And you'll hear the awful re-recordings that they had to do for this. Because uh, a neat little trivia about this game really quick. Um, this game came out in the 90s. And it actually led to the creation of the ESRB, which is that thing that rates video games. Uh, it's this game in Mortal Kombat that did it. And I'll point out the scene that ended up doing it. Too violent for ESA, they say. Yellow. That's one left. We're gonna get a trap first, though, because you have to give him time to walk downstairs before you can change it. So, right now, you'll probably see blue on here. The moment I get the capture, I'm gonna go to hallway one, and we're switching over to yellow. And I should be on yellow now. I, you can see my controller, right? I hope I'm not just, like, holding it randomly up. Yes, we can. Cool. So far, the capturing of the Augs has been pretty chill. We're gonna get these guys, and then I have a fun little, uh, a fun little part for ya. Also, the fact that it's working means I did indeed get yellow. However, you know what we're gonna do for that? Party! Party. Music. Right. <laughs> and says, go Megan, I'm going back. We're back to hallway two. I want to go be uh, in and out of that room so you can hear the night trap song. They made a custom song for this game for some odd reason. Got the capture. I use song cues by the way to know when I have to go to each of the rooms because it's very fun. Kitchen. Song. Bedroom after this. And you can get really groovy with it is the best part. Alright, back in action. Also, someone may have asked already, I can't really tell because... But, if you're wondering why do they walk like that? Well, the actors weren't aware of where the traps are supposed- Oh wait, wrong one. Uh, just be here. The actors weren't aware of where... Also, hold on. Really quick, I have to think. Yeah, I know what I'm at. Sometimes I pause it just to reiterate my thoughts. Um, but the actors walked like that because they weren't aware of where the trap was supposed to be. They're just aware at some point they'd be trapped. Also, the way I keep this in mind is I kind of use a little organizational system. So this is going to be 1B, 2B, which is the order of rooms, and it kind of helps me out with these little patterns. Realistically, most of this run is just kind of a challenge run and like a, what's the word, a memorization challenge. And can you improvise what you need to do? And no. Um, there are going to be some rather tough captures later in the game, and those are going to be as a result of timings. Because some captures you can't just mash it. While normally mashing it would work, some of them you'll actually get a bad ending if you mash it because you'll trap someone who you know is your friend. And you don't want to trap your friends, that's not very nice. So I actually have to do internal countings and such to do that. As well, some swaps are literally going to be within a second of each other. So you have to be careful of that. Okay, we got it. We're on yellow right now, by the way. No. Not again. Come on, Studley. We better change that code. How about green? Sure. Green, huh? Green is to the right. Okay. There we go. So green is to the right. I know I got it. Oh, I hold on. Did I, did I get it? I got it. And you can probably see it up here. Right now, our next capture is going to be in this hallway, hallway 2. But we're going to have a little bit of a wait. Um, if you have anything you'd like to read, feel free to go for it. Yeah, I would quickly like to give a shout out to the Jack of Hearts in chat who gifted us up to the seventh oh, sa sure. sage. Hey, sir, so thank you very much for that, and uh, thanks for your continued support, guys in chat. Yeah, I love this cutscene. It's a very fun one, and it kind of keeps me. Once this cutscene ends, I could go back to hallway too. You're not gonna trash your face with this junk on you, Megan. It could be. A also, I just love how they look really. 
late 80s, early 90s. So well, another little trick I'm doing to keep track of the rooms, if I feel like I messed up, I'll hit X and the audio is still going on there, I'm still in the same room. And it's just kind of a memory thing that I've started doing because it helps. Anyway, time for action. We're going to capture this chump. And then we're going to be going to these two guys outside. I hate the outside guys because they're really discreet and like they're outside of the story entirely and they're just here for some reason. And they get like yeeted off the roof. It's like, yeet! And they're gone. Also, here's my favorite Jamaican guy talking about this guy wearing sunglasses at night. He's too cool. That's what they did in the 80s. They wore sunglasses at night. Alright, back to the story. So you have this one kid who is probably one of my favorite characters. Like, I have two favorite scenes in the game. Uh, this kid is one of them because he's absolutely brutal later on. Okay. So this one always confuses me, uh, just because the capture is really awkward with timing. But we're going to be waiting here for a little bit. Um, I should probably be, I think, around either 48 or 49. I know when we get to the bathroom, we'll be on 51, I believe. We're approaching uh, about the halfway mark of the run as well. Uh, in total, we need 100 captures. Um, this is a long waiting room because there are people coming into the house, but you can't quite trap them immediately. So we're getting the living room capture I need here. We get him. And this is the scene that led to the creation of the ESRB. It was deemed so violent that it got, you know, ratings on everything. A fun fact, this game was originally said it would never come out on the Nintendo Switch. However, now it had or never come out on Nintendo consoles. Now it's on the Switch. Uh, as well, it's rated T for teen. So, fun facts! It's only if you let her die. But luckily, we can just save her. It's also an immediate game over if she does. Good save! Also, a bit monkey TOS because of her outfit, I suppose, but. She's trying to escape! I guess the reason why I got the ESRB thing was because it was violence against women or promoting it, but they didn't realize they were trying to save them, not kill them. But I guess it was weird at that time, man. Anyway, we're going to be waiting in Hallway 1 for a little bit because we're going to be getting our next capture, and then we're going to be doing a probably the wonkiest part of the run that I, I know I don't like. Uh, after capturing this auger, we're going to be getting two code changes. Right now I'm on green. Right now, we should be in the entryway. They're going to enter the entryway, and they're going to say a code change. On, I'm on green right now. There we am. Big problems. What? The Augs are here. All right. I'll go downstairs and reset the access code to yellow. We're really going between green and yellow a lot, aren't we? It's all just green and yellow. That's an instant code change, because uh, if you don't get that code change, you can't capture the guy in the living room, which is the room I'm in right now. If you're also wondering why are we able to use these, so the family owns all the traps in the camera system, so the color code lets us abuse that and use it to our own advantages. We're playing as something called Control, as a part of a special control attack team. Um, they'll say the acronym later, which is aged extremely poorly, and it's hilarious. At least to me. Better if we switch the code again to green. We don't what? Why is, to get why is it always yellow and green? <laughs> also, my favorite part. So these guys are going to high five at 36 seconds. Listen, things are getting really weird around here. Keep your eyes open and watch out for the other girls. I'll be right back. This is me when you made the blindfold incentive. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. So I love this scene. Because that kid is about to murder the ox. This is just blatant murder. <laughs> he, ev he, like, evaporates him. And it's cool. Because <laughs> they get, like, ray guns now? 
you're preventing toothless vampires from killing the girls, and there's a couple of guys with, like, ray guns trying to save them. Anyways, going back to the world of awkward captures in this game, um, this guy is in disguise, and we're not gonna be touching this button right now, my, my trap button. Um, because if we trap him, it's an instant game over, or I think you just, you can't get a perfect game. Uh, they'll actually scold you if you kill people, so don't kill people. It's pretty easy, this is all you have to do. I hope to god I'm holding controller to the camera, by the way. I'm kind of just making assumptions this entire time I'm holding it in the right spot. <laughs> I usually start mashing the button again. Oh, cool, thank you. Uh, I usually start mashing again when I hear, like, ray guns and such. There we go. I want to remind you, by the way, I think we're about... There actually is a timer in the game. Um, the run ends around 25, so you pretty much have until then... Uh, to get in your bid war donations for save or kill Dana Plato. Cool. Also, this is weird. You can't do anything to help this guy. He is always going to die. So, a big F for Mike. Goodbye, Mike. You are, I guess, getting turned into blood. You don't even save Mike. You get the guy on, like, the roof. Alright, so now it's getting kind of hectic. Uh, we're going to the hallway 2. And then I always call this L1B because we're going to the living room. We're going back to hallway 1 afterward. And this is around um, on the, not this capture, the next one. If I'm at 65, I haven't missed a single auger. If I'm not on 65, not on this one, but the next one, then I've messed up somewhere. And this is flawed. Oh, uh, and I will have let you down. If not, then I'm still doing you proud. This is also a game over if you miss it. Got him. Alright, so we saved the girls. We're going to the living room next because the timing is really awkward. Normally, you'd want to catch the girls on hallway 2 to save them afterward. However, there's going to be a guy there. Uh, there'll be a guy coming out into hallway 2 to try to get the girls again. And then we go back to living room uh, once again. Okay, living room. L to L. We're hitting one of the hardest traps in the game, by the way. I'd probably rank it for, uh, third hardest. So, I'm preempting my trap to hallway two. The moment I trap him, I have to swap over to the other room. Got it. She didn't say use the trap, so that was actually pretty monk S. I thought she would have. She normally does. Um, I almost choked the run because you didn't save the kill. That's weird. That's wonky. What? Wait, are they dying? What happened? I hope I didn't miss anything. Thank God. Okay, we're... Hold on. How many am I at right now? 76? I hope I'm at 76. I may have messed up. I didn't game over, so that's really good. This will be 77 at the end of this. Also, I'm going to have to make sure I count down because I can't capture Megan early. One, two, three, four, five. Megan. What? And yes, you could have seen her. What happened to my timing? You were responsible for her life, and you screwed. Well, we have a continue, luckily, but um. Too bad you're not going to be. I'm not sure what happened there. My audio felt off. Hold on a minute. Let me go back to continue. Oh God. All right, retry should put me back on 52. There we go. I think it's retry. It's all good. This is also for the estimate. Oh, luckily it wasn't that bad. I think my audio desynced. Because I noticed a few things were off there. Let's see. That has never happened before. 
I saw, uh, also, I hope it didn't freeze, because this does this sometimes. If it freezes, I just have to, like, reboot everything for my PS4, which doesn't take that long, but... Luckily, I added a few minutes on the estimate. There we go. Okay, I didn't miss a single one, luckily, so that's good. Okay. So, I'm gonna be going back into the game. I have a safety save for a reason. And you always get one during a marathon, right? Okay. Back into action. Ready? Oh, it's gonna put us back here, luckily. I have this continue, luckily. It's nice. We also get to watch our favorite high five again. Luckily, it wasn't too bad. I'm not sure what happened to my dialogue options, though. Let's go down to the control. Okay. Maybe Tony has seen Ox. Gotcha. I'd feel better if we switched the code again to orange. We don't want anyone else to get control. I hope you got him on orange, by the way. I'd like you to stay in your room and be careful. I'm gonna check out the rest of the house, okay? Things are getting really weird around here. Keep your eyes open and watch out for the other girls. I'll be right back. Let's see. Cool, we're on orange. Orange from yellow. Sir, so back in action. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened with my audio cues. Oh, hold on. Room. Good to know I did everything else right until then, though. I was actually kind of worried that I missed one. Wait, don't shoot. It's me. This I don't fool him. <laughs> you check in there, and I'll check down there. Yeah, the PS4 version of this game has been known to have weird quirks with audio cues. Oh, don't capture him. Weird quirks with audio cues, um, and sometimes that can bug out the game. I've had it normally on color changes, which if you can't change the colors, you can't even trap anything, so it's really bad. Um, I didn't know I would get one around then, though, because there's like three rooms I was really confused about that should have worked, but didn't. Which is all actually the most important rooms in the game, because uh, you can all game over on those three rooms, <laughs> which is really unfortunate. Okay, get the boy dialogue. Going to the driveway. Mike is dying again. Another F for Mike. Leader, this, is Mike. Come in. this is also why I think I uh, had five minutes to add on for blindfolded, just in case. So. Alright. Hold on, so we have D... 2. This is L1B again. Back to living room. Back to hallway 1. We're going to be getting their vampires again. And then from then on, we're going to be pretty much back to where we were. I do apologize, chats and everyone. But I guess every run does need their that's never happened before, doesn't it? I think these might be vampires we're up against here. The vampire! Capture. We got the capture. Okay. I'll do L. Here's that. Okay, now we're going over back to one. Use the trap. There it is. Yeah, that line of dialogue's really important for knowing where I'm at. If I don't like I don't hear use the trap, like, that's gonna throw me off. And that's the line that bugged out last time. But now we're back in action. There's two outside. 
Got both. We're now saving these girls. There we go. That sounds way better now. Got that one. We're now saving this one. And if I kill Megan again, I'm just gonna cry. Okay. I need to focus. Sorry, Megan, my eyes are blindfolded. Got him! Way better! We're back in action! That's how you save Megan right there! She's alive! Okay, so yeah, my timing was thrown off on audio dialogues, which is really bad. Anyway, now we're back on track. We have about uh, 20 or so augers to go, and we have actually the Zeus God of Thunder in the run. He just throws lightning out of his hands for some reason. He's powerful. We're also coming on the climax of the game. Uh, we will have one more good time for donations, I would say, uh, after this capture. Would we stand in his way? I would. We would. He's gone. Alright, so now we're going to be going back to L. Uh, really quick, if you have anything you'd like to read or plug, feel free to go for it. I do apologize once again for the uh, audio bug. Uh, kind of threw us into a loop. I think we might be going slightly overestimate, but it should be fine. It's fine. Uh, Alright, so we have $5 here from Jack of Hearts saying, I spent the last 30 minutes trying to think of a funny comment, but I can't think of anything funnier than this game, so I decided to even the bid war. And we have $50 from Vuinik saying, Hello, Ecti Domes up. Love from the spawns in chat. <laughs> Too late. And both, of those, and both of those go towards killing Dana, which is currently leading with fifty dollars. Cool. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, I should be on. Uh, I think eighty-two captures or so. Scat. Their name is Scat, by the way. All right, uh, so there's going to have the climax of the game in the living room, but we're going to entirely ignore that and go to the bedroom instead because augers are still wandering around and we need to stop them. Um, so the way I do that is LBD. We have a long wait from that one, so I'll show us some of the funny dialogue in the climax when we have it. Uh, we also have to go back outside for some reason because that makes sense. I like how you have to like, go into the outside when the game is happening like at the highest peak. Like you're learning the story of everything, like who's what, but just do that. Uh, I always remember that as K2B. And yeah, I um, I always add on a few extra minutes for blindfolded. I thought it would be 35, but I guess it's 30 showing on the screen? Go. Alright, cool. Alright, so it's K2B. And then after one, I get to show you uh, some of my favorite dialogue in the game. Yeah, this guy. Alright. Uh, it's going to be one to one, but after one, I'm actually going to be going to the living room, because we're going to be getting the dialogue there. And also, the living room is the hardest capture in the game, because there's only audio cues, like, only music cues. You gotta be jiving me, man. Alright, cool. Back to all we two. There it is. And we're almost on the hardest capture of the game. So, Megan has an obvious five seconds after her line, which is pretty easy. And also, you can hear her crying on her second cry, it works. On this one, the only audio cue I have is music. 
Uh, so if you're tone deaf, this is a lot harder, but um, there's going to be, I think it's called a crescendo. Uh, it's a rising, it's going to be like, da na 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 da na 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 da It's going to be a ramp up, it's going to be a build up. And you'll hear it during this encounter. So it was going to be a funky bass riff. Hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got him. And that's the save. Uh, if you accidentally kill the girl, uh, you get a bad ending. Or if you let the guy live, you you just can't get the best ending. Uh, we go back to the driveway, weirdly enough, and we're almost at the end of the game. Uh, we're very close. Back to living room for some reason, because the augs are just there to clean up or something. We have two more auger captures, and then we have the finale. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, it's going to be a pretty fun finale, I'll just say that much. And, uh, well, I can't see. I, I just want to throw that in there. It seemed like a fun thing to say. I can definitely say, though, I didn't see the audio glitch happening. The crickets certainly applause to that pun. I should be in hallway one, by the way. Do I? Wait, this feels long. This was really long. Did I game over? What? Where's... Where is he? Wait, where... What? Oh my god, are you kidding me? What the f... I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what happened there. We did kill Kelly, but I didn't hear the... The guy. And then Kelly does. I'm... Aw. Uh... Well, I think that just kind of kills it, because that's right at the end, too. That's unfortunate. I could always show the cutscenes off, but, uh... May as well kill the time. Yeah, I'm not... I was in hallway one for the most part, right? Or was I in a different room? I can't... Oh, I might as well take this off. Ah. Where was I? I know I was in the other area, but... Ah, I was in the kitchen? Aw. Oh. Right at the end, too. Those are the last three rooms. Uh, I will show what happens, though. I did have safety cutscenes just for that. Man, that, uh, that one thing really threw me off. I'm not sure what happened there. I think I went the wrong way on my directional pad. That was the kitchen. Ah. Uh, it happens. I think I went one too little. But I hope you did enjoy it. Now, uh, really quick, uh, I'll show you what happens for the bad ending and leading up to that, because I can at least show off the cutscenes. We're three away. Uh, which is just the finale, and uh, I'm really, un it's really unfortunate I missed that. But, I guess these things happen. Puns killed the run. They did! I thought it was taking a, a while, so... Luckily, there is an option to show these off, and uh, I'll just ask right now, do we have Saber kill Dana Plato? Because I'll show off what that was. I am pretty sure we are at kill, but let me check real quick. Yes, we are at kill. With 58 to 35. All right, so in order, here are the cuts. Oh. Okay. All right, uh, we'll call it then for kill. But here's the order of the cutscenes that would have happened. Honestly, I'm kind of upset that happened, though. Uh, I guess the audio glitch really threw me off, and then I couldn't get out of my head. But the mom gets hit by the bed trap. Uh, and then afterward, you go to the bathroom. And... The dad gets hit by the wall trap. Yeah. And then as the finale, um, you have the daughter chasing Dana Plato in one of the final hallways right here. No, not that one, sorry. Uh, let's go here.
At that point, you end up capturing her. And then this happens. Here's Kill Dana Plato. She falls into the abyss. I mean, I guess we did kill her anyway. But I'm surprised I missed that one room. The game is not generous on continues, unfortunately. Um, and the run kind of got a bit scuffed in the middle there. But I do hope you enjoyed it, and I do thank you for having me. Um, but this has been Night Trap. Um, I don't have much more to add on than that. But thank you all for watching. And hope thank you, you all very have much for the, uh, Yeah, Thank you very much for the great run. Unfortunate that it had to end like this. But it, it happens. Was impressive. Uh, it was impressive nonetheless. Thank you for having uh, so me. So yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to hop into a short intermission, guys. And when we come back, we will be seeing super inefficient golf with my old mic. Should be a fun so time. stay tuned, everybody.